Yo, yo, what is up, all you credit repair business owners, all you credit repair hustlers? Today, I'm going to show you the way we get clients utilizing paid ads. And more specifically, we use a messenger bot to help us do so. So let's get straight into this video. Let me first, let me just draw the entire schematic of kind of how this works, because it's good to kind of visualize it before I go into real into big detail with it. So let me hop over here, make sure my pad's working. Cool, let me share my screen. This is my handy dandy whiteboard. Is it working here? So whiteboard thing working. Oh, oh, there we go. So I guess it's working now, cool. All right, sweet, let me just erase this real quick. So how we do this? What we do, what we have set up is we have a little Facebook ad campaign. Excuse my handwriting. So pretend that's Facebook campaign. From there, what we do is you get leads coming in using a, either use a pick or use a video to just drive traffic, okay? From there, what we do is you take them over into a little messenger bot. Okay? And what this messenger bot is, it kind of works in two ways. Because first, and these comments of these videos in this pic right here, all the comments on here, what it does, it tracks all the comments and it actually sends whoever comments on the picture, whoever comments on the video, they actually receive a DM saying, hey, thanks for inquiring about fixing your credit. Let me get some more information from you. And again, we kind of go through with there. And I'll show you that in a second. Second way that this works is the messenger bot. So once they actually click the ad, it takes them over to a messenger bot. And what this messenger bot is pretty much, once again, just asks them questions and it just gets their three things from them, two things from them. Well, it automatically gets this messenger bot, because it's on Facebook, it automatically gets their name, All right? So it automatically has their name, their first name and last name. We also get is their email. And most important is their phone number. Phone number, okay? From there, what we do with that, once you have that information, what we do is then we, we can go about it kind of two ways. Well, we usually want to get that information, our appointment center. There go. Our appointment center then calls them up. And either, well, actually, before they call them up, what they do is like, hey, the appointment center says, hey, are you available for a quick call? So it says, hey, are you available to call? Or are you available to just chat, All right? And they kind of figure that out. But more, everybody's kind of like always different. Some people like to talk on the phone. Some people just like to talk um, to the actual messenger. So they, the appointment center, her job is to figure out first, should we call them or should we chat with them? From there, once we chat, uh, the appointment center hops on the call with them and sets appointment, say appointment, APT. Or through the chat, what the appointment center does is sets an appointment through the chat. Now, bam, we got this amazing booked appointment now. Now, once you have the booked appointment, what we then do is the appointment setter asks them a bunch of pre-qualifying questions through chat or through the call. So pre-qualifying questions, okay? Just to kind of get a good understanding where they are and so we can get that information over to the closer, which we can talk about pretty soon. Pre-qualifying questions. Once he answers that, we automatically send them a, a confirmation. So you, my pre-qualifier, I mean, the appointment center says, hey, once you're done with the survey, um, I'm going to send you over a couple of text messages and emails saying, hey, you must confirm this appointment by replying yes to that. Otherwise, we won't really have a call with you. Just so we make sure everybody that on the call is already pre-qualified, confirmed, and scheduled. Just helps the conversions. So we ask them to confirm it. So we send them SMS, send them email, and we also send a voicemail. And all they have to do is just reply yes to that to confirm it. So let's say they reply yes. Once they reply yes, actually no, first they say no. What they, what they do, they say reply no, or they don't respond or don't and don't show up. No, goes right back to the appointment to, to reschedule, to recall. It says hey, yes, great. What then we do is we have a sign, I call it a sign, user. Or sign closer, say closer. 
Coin center puts them into another column that automatically assigns them to a closer. And from there, we can either take it to points, uh, closer number one, and how many you have, two, three, four, whatever you guys want to do, how many ever closers you want. Usually for a point setter, if you have four, if you have four closers, you might need double the amount of point setters and you might need more ad spend, but it kind of comes along with as you just run, run the ads. So what we usually do is you do uh, ad spend, let's say we do $100 a day. Uh, $100 a day, we get messages started at around anywhere between, I'd say, two to six dollars so let's just say it's five dollars so we can just run some numbers for you guys all right so you're saying spend a hundred dollars a day a hundred divided by five oh twenty dollars so you get twenty so you're running for a hundred dollars a day you get around twenty appointments and it's twenty appointments on, on excuse me a hundred dollars a day you get around 10, 20 chats 20 chats try to convert them into these four people okay and usually 100 dollars a day we're able to get uh, if you're consistently running 100 dollars a day you consistently have this method out each day you're going to have around eight appointments so you may want to not want to have four i mean if you're doing 200 dollars a day and you get 16 then maybe you're going to want to have at least three to four a uh, closers there maybe a couple maybe right now this is 20, you probably, we have three right here for appointment headers. So if you're gonna double it, I would just do six appointment headers and then double the closures to 16. I'm oh, not, not 16, my bad, two, to eight right here. That makes sense. So if you're spending $100 a day on ad spend, you're gonna wanna have at least three appointment headers for to handle those 20 messages a day. And you're gonna wanna have at least four appointment headers if you wanna do that. If you wanna have $200 a day, you may want to have maybe four or five appointment headers and maybe five, six, maybe five or six, I want to do eight, maybe five or six closers. Just so each closer can take around four calls a day for each appointment header. Kind of some basic math, but obviously all this comes along with just testing it out and just going about and getting the feel for it. Because these are the same results I'm using for this one company it might not be the same thing as for another company. So it kind of comes along with feeling it. I would recommend not immediately starting out on $100 a day. I would recommend starting out at like 10 a day. Then once you figure out that at $10 a day, you can probably at least get two appointments at five, at five. Then I'll start boosting it up. I'll then do $20 a day. Then I'll do 40. And then I would I wouldn't go immediately to 80 is a big jump. Might go to 60 dollars a day, maybe then then 80, then 100. Not but because I, if you make too much of a good jump, excuse me, you make too big of a jump, you might not get the same exact results. Uh, the reason being is because let me show you something. The reason being is because as you are uh, here, I mean this is the best way of explaining it. So let's say, so by, all right, so let's say you're starting out at $10 a day. Let's say you want to transition all the way to $100 a day. All right. You would think, excuse me, Andre, <laughs> you would think, so this is, let's say this is your audience, how Facebook works is you bid for an audience. And let's say that right now at $10 a day, you, this is the big audience for everybody wants credit repair. So call this credit repair audience. Okay. And let's say that you're, you're running $10 a day. Okay. And you want to bring it to $100 a day. You want to increase it. A lot of times when you're doing this, if you're just simply increasing it, so $10 a day, let's say you make it to like $50 a day. Right here, this is like 50. And same thing, this is $100 a day. That doesn't always work the best. So, for example, this is like this is a lot of times when people are kind of like trying to scale up. A lot of people make this mistake, and this is kind of the best way of saying it. So, this is as your so you go one hundred and fifty, one hundred dollars, ten, fifty to one hundred dollars a day. In comparison, over here you have one over here. So you have ten dollars a day, and you make another one 
for $10 a day. And you make another one for $10 a day. And make another one for $10 a day. Pretty much just duplicating the actual ad set level rather than rather than increasing the budget on the ad set level. As you can see here, if you're increasing the budget at actual ad set level, your your surface area here is only it's only this. You know, when you're increasing the budget to hundred dollars a day, let's say is make this let's make it 20, 20, just making easy numbers. Okay. So this started at 20, you went to 50, you went to 100. Is 20, 20, 20, 20. All right. So right now you're spending a hundred dollars a day on this one, whereas this one's spending a hundred dollars a day. But look at the service area here in this audience, you're covering a lot more, you know, in comparison to this, where you're not really covering that much. You're, yeah, you're increasing over to here. But this, you can see here by creating a new ad set, you're actually covering more of the audience. So this is a couple, one thing to think about when you're actually increasing the ad set, I mean, increasing the budget. But yeah, so pretty simple. So you get leads coming in, messenger. Then we take them over to appointment center, schedule. D C H E D U L E schedule confirm close and close pretty much throughout this process you can there's a couple of things that might happen so the lead comes in the messenger cool appointment center talks to them schedules confirm so it's Throughout this entire process, there's, there are circumstances where things might not go the way it, you plan it to be. Like, so for example, once they confirm it, you might not always be able to close the deals on the first call. So if you're not able to close them, uh, set up closing, so it can't close. So what would we take them over to a, something called a needs nurture. So in between the first, I always tell everybody to always push for a second call. So in between the first Call and the second call, you put them into a needs nurture campaign, which more sends them SMS, email, and ads and further ads. Pretty much just warming up that audience, making them trust me, you can see your face a little bit more because they say statistically that's how we need to see your business or your face around seven to eight times before they actually utilize your services. Wow. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's why you add them to a needs nurture campaign. And this kind of all goes around. It kind of kind of goes in an entire circle. So you're not able to close them. Let's say they're unqualified instead of closing, they're unqualified. Maybe as an unqualified, they don't have enough money. So then what we do is wait 45 days. And 45 days, another campaign, SMS, email. And then we have the appointment center contact them to hopefully schedule another appointment after 45 days. So she kind of just goes around in this circle. Okay. That's enough drawing with my super messy handwriting. <laughs> Let me actually show you the process more in detail in the actual system here that we have available for you guys. If you're interested in this, guys, by the way, click the link down below, schedule a strategy session with me. I'd be more than happy to explain and get you set it up. So, 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 we stop sharing this. I'll show you the actual thing. Cool. So here's an example, okay? So when you have the ad, you, like I said, there's two ways of kind of getting people. When people comment on the ad or when people just continue, press learn more and go through with the ad. So for example, when people comment on the ad, we have another little May chat sequence here for all the comments. And the way this, this works beautifully, I'm got, I, this is how I like make my, my videos. I just explain, I just teach you exactly how to do this so that you can do it yourself, you know, if you need to, if you decide not to work with me. But pretty much, face for comments. And what we do here is once you comment on here, we say, hey, first name is their first name. I sent you a message, or hey, first name, I'm going to send you a quick message, sent you a message, DM, blah, blah, blah. All these comments are the random responses you could send. This way you're not always saying the same response to everybody. And I always like to like the comments as well because it boosts engagement. From that comment, we send them over a DM automatically. Hey there, thanks for the comment. We'd love to show you how to fix your prayer in no time. They click show me. 
We just need a couple more information. You can build a tailored credit repair uh, plan. Watch email. You wait for them to respond with email. Exactly. Uh, excellent. Lastly, what's your phone number? So one of our credit repair specialists can reach out to you. Type in phone number. Thank you. We'll reach out to you shortly and tell you about an amazing process right there. And hold on, make sure me annotate so I can kind of help you guys out here. Cool. So yeah, I'll ask for the phone number. Perfect. Type in the phone number. Thank you. Reach out to you shortly and tell you about the amazing credit repair process. Simple. Now the same thing. Other one over here is the same exact system. Pretty much is actually going to the actual Facebook ad, which is what uh, JSON means, which is the, uh, the HTML script that you put into the actual ad. Same exact system right here. Uh, hey, thanks for reaching out. What's your email, phone number, and we contact them through, oh, we contact them through there. And what we do is drive over here, we'll drive over here as the ads. I'll show you that in a moment. This is how our opportunities work. So this is my own custom CRM that we use for everybody. And the main chat leads follow up over here. As these many chat leads come in here, it just notifies an appointment setter saying, hey, um, hey, call up this, this new lead because we got to schedule an appointment with them. From there, they take them over to free console booked. They miss the console right here, which our appointment setter just follows up with them, try to schedule up another appointment, closing meeting scheduling. So depending on how you're running your business, maybe you do an initial, uh, which we'll call it, maybe you do an initial meeting and then Maybe you have another meeting with somebody else so that they can actually send them over the paperwork and the contract and stuff like that. Depends on just how you run your business. You want to have a closing meeting scheduled? Maybe not. Maybe you just want to just close them, get paid, and get the contract in right there. So whatever you guys want, though. And over here, signed up. Once they sign up, it automatically adds into credit per cloud or dispute.com or however you want to do it, whatever payment gateway you want to use. And right over here, it just links are right up there. So just kind of it makes it super simple. Okay. And we can even set it up so that it automatically sends them out an invoice. We can even set it up so that it automatically sends them out a contract just so we can keep everything very, very simple and you keep everything just systematized pretty much. You don't have to really do too much. Okay. Uh, and then well, in this, the beauty behind this and it's signed up is that like 30 days later, you know, because in the first 30 days, you, you might not be able to provide them with that many results, but 30 days later, 45 days later, 60 days later, we, we're asking them for testimonials, referrals, video testimonials, things like that. <clears throat> and yeah, so let me show you over the actual ads. So we have over here at the ad count. Simple, it's a very simple ad right here that we have. I just wanna show you what it looks like. Very simple ad with my companies. Just like that, simple ad, asking for the information so we can get started. So pretty much that's the entire sequence, guys. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, like actually running these ads, uh, actually setting everything up, setting up all the integrations, having the CRM. So guys, if you're interested in any of this, uh, we actually have a, a couple of things for you. Okay, so I'm gonna hop over here. What we actually have for you guys is if you're interested in actually setting this up, having a system being in place for this, we have a couple of things for you. So first, we do offer consulting. So I can help you on whatever you already have that system ties. Maybe I can help you teach you how to run the ads. We can teach you how to set up the system or something like that. Maybe you just want to do it all on yourself. Uh, and I'll teach you exactly how to come into your business, give you step by step by step what you need to do next in order to elevate your business. Consulting. Second thing is we actually have a course. The course will teach you exactly how to run the ads. And the beauty behind the course is a lifetime asset. You can do what this asset is. You can take this asset and give it to your virtual assistant and have them just learn the course and just implement everything in the course. We also have available is the actual CRM. The CRM, we have three stages of it. We have bronze, silver, and gold of it. And if you're interested in the actual CRM, always schedule a call for any of these things. Interested in the actual CRM, schedule a call. And the last thing we have is the more, which is a dumb view service, a credit repair business in a box where we actually set up everything for you. So you actually can get started, guys. You actually get started in making those profits and get that shortcut to actually elevate your business, get yourself systematized, give yourself that freedom that you deserve. So guys, if you're interested in any of this, if you're interested in the course, if you're interested in the consulting, if you're interested in the CRM, if you're interested in the actually credit repair business in a box, Hit up my line, click the link down below, schedule a strategy session with me, and I'll be more than happy to implement this to your business, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, any questions, comments, concerns, leave a, leave a message in the comments, or I actually have a couple of links here. You can probably find me on social media very, very easily.
uh, facebook.com slash Nat Blade, or yeah, best way to get in contact with me through Facebook because I'm always on Facebook, facebook.com slash N-A-T-B-L-A-D-E and send me a message or just schedule a strategy session. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.